Let us raise up our two hands to the Lord. Was Lord, born Jesus, me Father, she ran when the stream God is loving, God is God is loving, and and around me, put me back to me. Alleluia! Turn to the envelopes now and say this loud and clear. Every conspiracy against my destiny. Can you shout this with only anger? Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter the conspiracy. Scatter the conspiracy in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this morning. And we praise the holy name for bringing us here. We thank you for the mightiness of your name and your power. We thank you for your strength, your love, your care, and your loving kindness. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This morning, O oh Lord, specially open our understanding. Lay your hands upon our lives. Educate our spirits. And at the end of everything, let us glorify your holy name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Right there where you are, tell the Lord to do a new thing in your life this morning. Ask Him to do a new thing in your life. Amen. Let's have a say, God bless you. And listen to this message carefully. Very carefully. Dreaming divine dreams. Dreaming divine dreams. Or if you like, you can say encountering God in your dreams. Dreaming divine dreams. That takes us into some scriptures very quickly. In Numbers chapter 12, Numbers chapter 12. I read verse 6. Numbers chapter 12, verse 6. This is a prophetic message and it's good for you to listen carefully. It may save your life one day and it may save you from trouble one day. Numbers 12, 6. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, the Lord will make 
myself known unto him in a vision. I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision. And will speak unto him in where? In a dream. God can speak to you in a dream. So I will make myself known unto him in a vision and I will speak unto him in a dream. Therefore, it's possible for the Almighty to communicate with you in your dreams. And what a wonderful experience it is when the Almighty speaks to you in your dreams. And you know, God is not a talkative. God does not waste words. He means what he says and he says what he means. Let's look at one man in the Bible called Jacob. In Genesis chapter 28, Jacob was in a mess. If you are looking for somebody who was a mess in scripture, Jacob was number one. He ran away from home because of fear of being killed. He ran to a man called Laban. If Jacob was a 419, Laban was a worse 419. That man dealt with Jacob, changed his salary ten times, gave him the wrong wife. And Jacob had to run away. His life was confused. It was at that level he had a dream. There is somebody here this morning who needs to have a dream that will change your life. If you are that person, let me hear you shout aloud, Amen. In Genesis chapter 28, verse 10, that is, if somebody's life is in a mess, God can come to you in your dream with a solution. Genesis 28, verse 10. And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went towards Aaron. He lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. He took up the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and laid down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed and behold a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it. Who stood above the ladder? The Lord. And said, I am the Lord God of Abraham thy father. And the God of Isaac. The land whereon thou lies, to thee will I give it unto thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. And thou shalt spread above, abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. There you find his future, his destiny, being read out to him by the Almighty in a dream. I pray that there will be somebody here today. You will have your Jacob's dream. You will have your Jacob's dream. In the name of Jesus. Said, and behold, I'm with thee, and keep thee in all places whither thou goest. I will bring thee again into this land. For I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken of thee. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep. And he said, Surely the Lord is in this place. And no, it's not. If you look at the back of this place. That's what is written there. Surely the Lord is in this place. If you go to the prayer city, you find this picture. That was put there by Mommy Gio of angels climbing up and down. That dream of the, that ladder, angels coming up and down, it was a dream. Jacob had the dream that changed his life forever. You will have a dream that will change your life forever. Let your amen be loud and clear. Was that the only man in scripture that had a dream that changed his life? No, the most popular dreamer was Joseph. In Genesis chapter 37, I read from verse 4. 
Genesis 37 verse 4. Are we there? And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. Verse 5. And Joseph dreamed a dream and told it his brethren. And they hated him yet the more. The problem of Joseph was that he could not keep his mouth shut. And he said unto them, Here I pray you, this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we were biding sheep in the field. And lo, my sheep arose and also stood upright. And behold, your sheep stood round about and made obeisance to my sheep. And his brethren said to him, Shall thou indeed reign over us? Or shall thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. Yet Joseph did not keep quiet. Verse 9. And he dreamed yet another dream and told it his brethren. I said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And though the sun and the moon and eleven stars made obeisance to me. And he told it to his father and to his brethren. His father understood the dream. So his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee to the earth? And his brethren envied him. But his father observed the same. Joseph had dreams that showed him his future. He saw his future. And that dream guided all his journeys. When his brethren threw him into the pit, he said, well, this is not where I'm supposed to be. He had a dream that showed him his future. I decree that you shall have your Joseph's dream. So you can see from these passages that the Almighty communicates to us through dreams. In the book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 20 Matthew 1 20 In Matthew 1 20 we read But while he taught on these things the old angel of the Lord appeared unto him where in a dream and said Joseph thou son of David fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost you can see what is happening here. In the same Matthew chapter 2 that we read this morning, verse 19. Matthew 2, 19. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream again to Joseph in Egypt. Jesus was taken to Egypt because of a dream. It's good to know that the first time Jesus will leave the land of Israel. The place he went to was Africa. But that's not all. In the book of Acts of Apostles, something had happened on the day of Pentecost. And in Acts of Apostles chapter 2, verse 17. Acts 2, 17. And let's read it from 16. But this is that which was spoken by Prophet Joel. And shall come to pass in the last days, saith God. I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. So the Bible also makes us to understand that there will be Holy Ghost inspired dreams. And if you begin to have Holy Ghost inspired dreams, there is no way you will not overshadow your contemporaries. If you begin to de- communicate with God in your dreams, when you wake up, you, your ideas will be different from others. There is Holy Ghost inspired dreams. The Bible says you shall dream dreams. By the time a person is 60 years old, you will have slept for 20 years. One third of our lives is spent sleeping. Dreams are visions during sleep. 
and it's a tragedy to abandon what occupies one third of our lives. A dream is a revelation to man of a portion of the activities of the spirit realm. It's a spiritual monitor telling you what is going on in your life in the spirit realm. I can officially tell you that 99% of the revelation knowledge you need to overcome your problems can be received in a dream. God can reveal everything to you in a dream. And you know they say knowledge is power. To be informed is to be transformed. As you have knowledge, you begin to recover. Dreams are a means of revelation. And it's a central way God has chosen to be communicating with us. Through dreams, God can convey to you the plan of your destiny. God can convey to you the destiny of your family, of your nation, of your world, of your career, of whatever you are doing, can be communicated to you in the dream, just like these men we've read here. In these last days, dreams are part of prophetic outpouring of God's power upon His people. I have a word from the Lord to those of you who are gathered into this meeting today that your Joseph's dream must come to pass. The dream of Joseph took him from the prison to the palace. Every man who wants uncommon success must have his own personal Joseph's dream. Any man who is in a mess and is in trouble, he needs to have a Jacob's dream. Any man who wants some common success must have his own personal Joseph's dream. Your Joseph's dream allows you to see your future. Your Joseph's dream is the heavenly picture about your life shown to you. Your Joseph's dream is the awareness of what you are supposed to be but you are not. Your Joseph's dream is the video film of your correct life as recorded in heaven. Your Joseph's dream is the divine goal planted into your spirit. Your Joseph's dream is your divine destination on this earth. Your Joseph's dream is the mountain top from which you can see your destiny from afar. Do you have problems with your marriage? Do you have problems with your career? Do you have problems with what you are doing? You need a Joseph's dream so that you can know what to do. Your Joseph's dream is the heavenly picture about your life shown to you. Your Joseph's dream is the light you can use to see your way when you are in a valley of difficulty. A sister prayed one day, he had a dream, and God brought a two year old son. A two year old boy, God brought the boy in the dream. Then in that dream, she saw the boy when the boy would be 20 years old. So, two boys, one two years old. One twenty years old, both of them side by side. And the Lord said, You see him, he's two years old now. When he's twenty, he's going to get involved in what he should not get involved in, and he will become like this. But if you don't want him to become like this when he's twenty, there is a friend who comes to look for him in this house. Stop that friend from coming. She got that revelation from a dream. As I'm talking to you now, that friend that the mother stopped from coming to see her son was shot at Babbage for arm robbery. So if they continue moving together, maybe he too will have been shot at the same time. I pray that this morning you will have your Joseph's dream. Your Joseph's dream is the embodiment of your destiny. You need your Joseph's dream, beloved, because there are treasures in the marketplace of your life which you must discover. In the last days, God's people shall dream divine dreams. And you must key your way into this. The Lord whom we serve, according to the Bible, shall suddenly come to his temple. All of a sudden, I decree that you will have a dream that will move you forward. In the name of Jesus. Shout the Amen loud and clear. I was sharing this somewhere a long time ago. When I was in the university, we had a course called Organic Chemistry. Very difficult course that time. 
And unlike these days, they test everything you've learned once a year. The organic chemistry course was in two big notebooks. One notebook one, notebook two. The notebook one was very full. This higher education notebook. Notebook two was about half filled. And we're going to face the examination. And before the examination, I had a dream. This person, white garments, must be an angel of the Lord. He brought the two notebooks to me. He kept note, notebook one at the back and gave me notebook two alone. And I forgot about the dream. A few days of the examination, we were listening to lectures and someone had stolen my notebook one. There was nothing to read for the examination again. I panicked. I ran to Mr. the first person. Can I have your notebook? He said, no. Can I make a photocopy of yours? He said, no. So I went home dejected. I had only notebook two, which is half filled. And the exam was going to cover the two notebooks. So that night I took only my half a notebook and began to, I prayed and began to read. And then the Lord reminded me, do you remember your dream? I said, yes. It's okay. So I read only notebook two. I went to the examination hall. When I got to the examination hall that morning, and they gave us the question papers, there was not a single question from notebook one that was told in. All the questions were from the notebook two, which is just half the size of the big one. At that level, I began to feel sorry for the man that stole my book. Because I knew he would have spent the whole night reading it. A dream can chart your way, guide your steps, and give you information. We're going to pray now. I'm going to continue this message next week. To now give you steps by which you may have a divine dream. Rise up on your feet now. I want you to pray this prayer with boiling anger and with merciless violence. It is the will of God for us to dream the dreams that will move us forward. But it is the agenda of the enemy that we should not have such dreams. Instead of divine dreams, some people have nightmares. Instead of the dreams that will move some people forward, the kind of dreams they have is dreams that will move them backward. Every dream has a message. There is no dream that doesn't say something. You will close your eyes like fire and like thunder. If you are here today and you are not a friend of God, you need to become a friend of God so that He can appear in your dream. If you are a friend of the devil, that is the person that will be appearing in your dream. If you are the friend of iniquity and sin and vices, those are the things you will be seeing in your dream. You will pray this with merciless violence. Enemies of my Joseph's dream. The dream of Joseph moved him from the prison to the palace. Can you shout it loud and clear? Make it louder than that. Shout it louder than that. Dead! In the name of Jesus. Pray against the enemy of your Joseph's dream. Yes. Aha, aha, aha. Masetakaya bakanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Now I want you to pray this prayer with violent faith. Believing God that something must happen to you today. Dreams that will change my life. Manifest! Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus! Aha! 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 
Maseka kaya boshende rabakanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this louder than anyone here. Dreams of poverty. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. Spirit of the living God. Move, 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 move. Aha, 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 aha. Makota kapo soponda kayaba. Ribo soponda kayabo shente. Bobi katende ka. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this again loud and clear. Every dream of destiny failure. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. 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 Continue. Continue. Spirit of death and hell. Lose your hood. 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 Pasikate ya boshende rabokonta. Raboko raboko tende ke ya boshente ya ba. Makaponde ke setele ke ya bo. Dere ke seponde ke ya boshente ya boko la ba. Marabo seponde ke ntia. Makapola ke ya boshente ya bo. The same thing that continues. Tonight is tonight. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. As many people as are here today, and something is telling you that you are not living the kind of life you are supposed to live. Can you shout this and pray it louder than anyone here? All my virtues stolen in the dream. I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Recover the virtues, recover the virtues. Pata, pada, kapada. Recover them, recover them. of the living God. Move. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Something strange is happening over there. Very, very strange. An old woman is coming out. Of the body of a very young lady. This has introduced a thread to your life. All the persons who want to marry you, they all run away because of this person inside your body. Yes, that's the power of God is coming upon you. Yes. 
Say this again loud and clear. Every operation. <laughs> Can you say that loud and clear? Make it louder than that. Of demotion in my dreams. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Amen. Let's lay our light on our heads and we declare this loud and clear before we go. My father, connect my head to my miracle. In the name of Jesus, put your mouth and begin to ask for that connection. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a connection. Let there be a connection. In Jesus' name we pray. You may remove your hand from your head. You now pray these closing prayers. Every dream that has brought me down, I cancel you by fire in the name of Jesus. Cancel it by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I believe you have been blessed by this video. If you have any question or prayer request or want a particular video topic, use the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the notification bell beside it to be updated with new videos whenever available. Thanks as you share this video with your friends and family. God bless you.